So hello everyone, I'm Akash and I'm back with another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about one framework that is Half Moon. Now you may ask how this framework is different than others. So the most eye-catching thing that this framework provides is a dark mode. So this framework has a built-in dark mode which you can use to create UIs where you can toggle the colors of the UI from light to dark. So this is one interesting thing and then the next interesting thing that I find is that it uses bootstrap like classes. So the classes that this framework has are similar to that of the bootstrap and then it supports IE11 that is Internet Explorer 11. So this is something that we can check out. Now let's straight away go to the docs. So now let me first show you the toggle button for the dark mode. So these are some of the lines that you need to write to create a dark mode toggle button. So if you click on this, so we are in the light mode now. And once I click it again, now we are in the dark mode. Now here there is a function uh, which is written on this buttons on click event. If we don't want to write this function, then we can straight away write this instead of this uh, function. And let me just show you that. So if you scroll down here and go into this core JavaScript library, then here you are going to find this code. So you just have to set the path for the half moon JavaScript file and just create this button with this uh, on click method so it is going to toggle through the dark mode so the other things that you get with this which are the containers and you can check this out as well you have cards you have the grid system here as well now uh, the grid system that is there in half moon is based on flexbox then navigation bars, sidebar, button, code, image, there are a lot of things there. You can create forms, there are uh, classes for forms as well. And all these classes, you will find them similar to Bootstrap. So you can check this uh, things out. So I'll give the link to this in the description down below so that you can check this out. So now let's download this and let's check it out real quick. So here is the zip file that we get once we download it. Let's uh, extract it now. Okay, let's open it in VS Code and let's see what all things we get. So these are all the uh, CSS and JS files that we get and we get an index.js file here and then a starter template so let's see so this is a basic template that we get with this so let's run this and let's check it out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this go live button now this button is not going to be visible on your vs code if you don't have this extension installed the name of that extension is live server so if you don't have this extension installed then you won't get this go live button on your visual studio code so install that first and then you'll see this button so you just click on this and it is just going to create a local server and it's going to open the website onto your default browser so here i have this uh, opened onto my browser so it is opening the starter template.html now let's see these buttons that we have so we have a dark mode toggle button here and a sidebar button as well so as you can see so this is a pretty basic template that you get with this so i'll also be creating a web ui and this is going to be a series so i'll be creating a basic ui using this uh, half moon framework so let me show you that 
so this is the website that i'm going to create so here we have image and some text here and button and we have the toggle button for the dark mode here and a basic sign up form here in the navigation bar and this is the logo and the text for it and here is the navigation bar and also we have two other pages created here for login and the other one for sign up so i'll show you how we can create this ui so as you can see this animation for the side now so we are going to create all of this just using half moon framework in the next video we are going to start with this so that is it for this video and i will see you in the next one